that's for sure. Good evening. Thank you for taking the time to join us for BTW 21 News. It is finally Thursday. The uh, weekend is closer and closer uh, to being here, so we're excited about that. But let's uh, get right into the news, and we're going to start off with news in the city of Martins, or as you may already know if you follow us on our social media pages and on BTW21.com, as we always encourage you to stay up there. there. Uh, we're talking about and providing a little bit of more information in regards to that fight that broke out at Martinsville Middle School. Now a fight broke out after a high school basketball game in Martinsville on Wednesday night. During the varsity boys game between Magna Vista and Martinsville High Schools at Martinsville Middle School, there was a small scrimmage between the players. This ultimately sparked chaos and game spectators rushed to the court. School administration and law enforcement officers were able to quickly control the situation. Outside the gymnasium and video circling on social media shows a fight broke out between some females. All of the parties involved are juveniles, said Martins of Police Chief Rob Fincher. We had one parent to file a report which we will be following up on with juvenile court services, but because of their ages, there is limited information I can give. The police chief said that charges will likely result from the incident. I will say that no one was seriously hurt, Fincher added. Attendance at Friday's basketball game versus Mackenberg will be restricted. Only the student athletes and the parents of the student athletes, game officials and school officials will be permitted in the gym. We are evaluating whether the games will be restricted for the remainder of the basketball season. Martinsville High School principal Dr. Audrey Dixon wrote in a statement on Thursday. Each player from the Martinsville and Muckenberg teams will be allowed to have two parents-slash-guardian spectators attend, according to Dixon. The matter is currently under investigation by both school divisions, said Martinsville City Public Schools Communications and Community Outreach Coordinator Kali Heidela. At the conclusion of that process, we will determine what, if any, actions need to be taken, she added. No one was arrested. HCPS's administrative team is working to investigate the events of last evening at this time, stated Henry County Public Schools Director of Communications Monica Hatchett. As with any incident, our safety team will debrief following the investigation to determine whether adjustments to safety procedures need to be made for the future, she said. We're still staying in the city of Martinsville and we're talking now about a two vehicle collision that resulted with uh, some delays on Wednesday evening and we can tell you that again this crash took place in the city of Martinsville on Wednesday evening and it was around the 6 p.m. hour. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have the exact time at this point because we've been working hard on getting you more information about uh, other stories, but this involved a silver and color uh, Hyundai vehicle that you're seeing and a black and color Acura SUV that collided there at the intersection of Ferry Street and of Hooker Street near that area. This was again near Martinsville High School. We understand that Martinsville Fire and EMS responded with their uh, fire engines and their ambulances and at this time it does not appear that anyone was hurt. They were however checked out and it also does not appear that anyone was taken, anyone was taken to the hospital but of course we will continue to keep it posted in regards to that information and uh, again these two, two vehicles collided there at the intersection. We're still find, trying to find out how this incident and accident actually took place. We're unaware and unclear of how that uh, the Acura, the black and color Acura that we were only able to get a picture because of uh, the situation, we were only get, able to get a quick picture of. We're not exactly sure how it ended near the Henry County Department of Public Safety Dole Street Station. Again, we will keep you updated in regards to that. We're now moving on to news in Patrick County where authorities there are investigating after a student 
threatened violence at Patrick County High School. Now deputies again are investigating those threats of violence made by a student at Patrick County High School. The Patrick County Sheriff's Office says that it is working together on the case with Patrick County Public Schools. The student in question is not presently attending school according to Sheriff Dan Smith. The sheriff said the measures that measures have been taken to maintain continued safety for all students and faculty. Of course, this is a developing story. Check back on btw21.com and here on air for continued updates to that story. A lot that we've covered and a lot more that we have to get to, including your weather report. So we're going to take a quick commercial break and return with us in Staples. Hi, Barry Nelson at GR Chevrolet in Stanley Town. Merry Christmas to you. We've got some Christmas deals. We got a 17 Silverado four wheel drive in white. Of course, I guess you can see that for only $3.99 a month. You want a deal on an SUV? It's a 19 Equinox for only $2.99 a month. That's a great deal here at GR Chevrolet. You want a great little car, a great price, a 2017 Cruze, only $2.19 a month. That's a deal. You want a great deal? We got a 2019 Chevy Spark. Gets a tremendous gas mileage. Somebody said it hurt 100 miles, but it's not 100 miles. But you can buy this thing for only $239 a month. That's a great deal. Got a 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude, one of the better ones, only 50,000 miles, only $339 a month, and I'll sell it to you with zero down. That's a great deal here at GR Chevrolet. Hey, Merry Christmas, where everybody knows cars cost less. Are you looking for a realtor? One that is hardworking, honest, and knows the area? Also, willing to respond to phone calls and answer texts and emails on a timely fashion? Look no further. My name is Cameron Kolinsky. I'm a proud agent with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate, serving Patrick, Henry, Martinsville, and surrounding counties. I have experience with clients dealing in land, residential, and commercial listings. My top priority is customer satisfaction and making sure that my clients' needs and wants are met. Consider it sold with Cameron Kolinsky, Realtor with Blue Ridge Mountain Real Estate. Hey, come see us at Martinsville Urgent Care. We're located at 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our telephone number is 276 634 0010. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We do offer time slots now, so you can call us and get that scheduled so you will not have to wait. Don't forget to come see us at Martins for Urgent Care, 1044 East Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia, 276-634-0010. Call us to get your time slot booked. You're watching BTW 21 News. We thank you for your continued support and continuing to stick along. Let's switch our gears now to Dustin Staples for weather. Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Alrighty, everybody, we have made it to the weekend and getting ready to get ready to cool down because we're going to need to finally get back to where we need to be for this time of the year. I'm with Amanda Dustin Staples. We greatly appreciate your company as you're checking us out here on the Neighborhood Network. Of course, we've been feeling more like March and April than we have January, and that's pretty much been the trend this entire month where we have just been running well above where we need to be, and we don't even know what normal is anymore because it's just been so um, out of whack. So I think what's happened, we've done, uh, we may have to kind of do a reset uh, on Mother Nature because she doesn't know what season we're in right now. So at least we do know it's January, and everybody knows that we've already surpassed all the holidays. So that is something we do know for a fact. However, though, we're going to see some much cooler temperatures 
coming up for this weekend, possibility of a little bit of a wintery mix. We'll see what happens between now and the upcoming uh, weekend because all that is still up in the air. However, though, we are going to be seeing a unsettled wet pattern moving in as we get towards the end of the, the following weeks of January. So going to our final week here in this coming week of January, we're going to see a transition of dry for to wet because we're going to see several patterns of uh, moisture get off, filter all in, and it's going to result into some little, um, who knows what will happen. So we got plenty of time to keep a close eye on that. But again, tonight, we're going to see clear to partly cloudy skies this evening. Temperatures going from the 60s to the 50s later on tonight. So again, our, la our sunset now is at 530. So once again, once all this rain exits out of our region, we will begin to see a nice stretch of some uh, dry conditions, and we're going to see some much milder weather uh, for tonight. And then again, it does appear we are going to begin to see the last of these warm nights in the making. Like I said, we have to get back to normal at some point, and we've already said that Mother Nature may be a little confused on what season it actually is. But again, lows tonight are going to feel not near normal, but still above average. We'll see uh, decreasing clouds tonight. That'll quickly develop to some breezy conditions as well. We have that front that's moving through. And again, we're not talking about a severe cold front like we saw back during Christmas. But again, it's going to be kind of chilly that it's going to be a wake up call. You know, tomorrow morning and it's going to be breezy and it's going to be in the 30s, 30s and 40s for much of our hometown. So if you're doing anything out and about for your Friday, I'm getting tomorrow. It's nice to give you a seven. I mean, you know, because of the windy conditions and the chilly temperatures in the morning, that is why that is the way I give it. Plenty of sunny skies are going to be out there. And again, temperatures. Can you believe this? Near normal. So we're going to be near where we need to be for the month of January. Our average high is 49 degrees. So we're slightly just a few degrees near normal, but we're not uh, above normal as we need to be right now. Again, west northwest winds coming in at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Taking a look now to some of your other area daytime highs for Friday, we are going to begin to see a nice uh, sunny breaks in between. So the good news is that we're going to see the sunshine be out there a lot of the time, uh, breezy at times as well with no rain expected. So tomorrow, Friday is going to feature a very nice uh, sunny day in the making. We have some 40s in Woolwine, Sam Story, Ararat 50, and Stewart 52, both Air Oak level in the city. 53 there coming in at Ridgeway. We have 50 coming in at Boone's Mill right there. So do you know that we're going to see a wide variety of near to seasonable temperatures for a majority of our hometowns tomorrow. So if you're doing anything, again, I would probably advise do recess indoors, teacher. So make sure if you want to get out that about, it's going to be very breezy. So of course, if you're doing anything in between, outdoors, uh, maybe you're going on a lunch break or something, you want to make sure you have a, a, a wind uh, breaker with you because we're going to most likely see those temperatures feel a lot colder than they are right there. Again, thanks to the northwest, northwest breezes uh, come into effect. So we'll go from the northwest, northwest to the north, northwest breezes. And again, it's going to feel more like the 40s uh, for our area feels like temperatures thanks to that breeze that is in effect. Saturday is featuring nice conditions We'll call it seasonable as again our average high should be right where it needs to be at 49 degrees there so that is normal for a change and that's kind of nice to say that saturday afternoon we're going to see clouds increasing because we have another storm system that's moving in for our region and what's happening with this this could run into a little bit of cold air uh, at start and so we could see a little bit of some freezing rain not giving it a high percentage of uh, causing any major concerns but the potential is there for some freezing rain and rain drizzle mix in between overnight Sunday Saturday going into Sunday morning temperatures typically are going to be cold in the morning hour so we'll see what happens with their early morning rain freezing rain will transition over to a cold rain high of 39 degrees so now we're below normal again we can't even get a day or more than two days above or near normal we have to go in a pattern where it's like we're going to go well above the average or dip below the average. So Sunday is going to feature a wet and kind of a gross day almost is kind of be described as. We'll see rain showers linger in the overnight hours. We'll see incre uh, decreasing clouds late in the overnight hours on your Sunday night. Look at the low there, you're 34. So maybe a little bit of some possible uh, light spots of uh, freezing drizzle. But other than that, I'm not expecting this to be a significant concern. Thanks to it being so warm here recently, I'm not expecting this to be a widespread 
a significant event, but do know that the potential is there for some freezing rain mix late Saturday into Sunday, and then as we make your way towards Monday next week, as we do start to wrap up the final full week of January, we're kind of back to normal again. So here's a pattern, normal, below normal, back to normal. So uh, it lets you know that Mother Nature is trying to get herself together. And do know that after Monday, it does appear again, things are looking quite active as we get our way towards the next several week or the next week ahead. Right now, a lot of computer models are uh, at a confusion, as I like to call it as, because they don't really know what's coming our way. So just do know that uh, you're making plans this weekend. It's going to be chilly, it's going to be cold, and it could be a little icy with some freezing rain drizzle mixed in between Saturday night going into Sunday morning. By mid-morning on Sunday, the temperatures will get above freezing, but again, 39 degrees, kind of a raw day to be described as. So I think I have uh, put every synonym to a word uh, to describe the word gross, raw, uh, just kind of a miserable morning that it's going to be described as. And then as you make your way in the afternoon, that cold rain is doesn't really kind of want you to stay indoors. So, but again, if you're all heading to church or brunches, just to be careful, a little bit of freezing rain, and then we'll, wake, we'll, we'll warm up slowly, closely to near 50 degrees as you make your way towards next week, and it gets windy. All right, folks, we, that's going to wrap it here for us. Do stick around. We have a, a lot more great local programming coming up next. As always, we appreciate your company, and we'll see you on next week. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic. Hi, my name is Dr. Kafer Zentmeyer here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. It's our goal to create wellness in all areas of life here at Zentmeyer Chiropractic. We are a neurologically based, state-of-the-art facility in the beautiful Martinsville Henry County area. With our technique and our technology, we're able to get down to the root cause of any health concerns you may have and then correct them from inside out. We'd love for you to come by and check us out. We take care of personal injuries, car accidents, pregnant women, babies, and people of all ages. We love serving families through the principle of chiropractic care. So come on down to Zipmire Chiropractic where we can help you remain in health as a lifestyle for a lifetime. So please come see us here at Zipmire Chiropractic. We are located here on the corner of Kings Mount Road and Virginia Avenue. Our address is 3652 Virginia Avenue. Collinsville, Virginia, and our phone number is 276-647-5555. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life. An uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. We've been here for 25 years now, and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. I am getting so hot, I want to take my clothes off. Pete, why are you dancing naked again? Because it's hot in here. It's hot in here because you won't turn the heat down. We get such a good deal on propane from up there, PVT Express. We ain't never got to turn the heat down. Well, you should, and you need to put your clothes back on. PVT Express now has Propane Express. You don't have to wait in line or even go inside with their pay window. For the best prices on propane, it's PVT Express. 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Parents have one main question. Is the COVID vaccine safe for their child? Yes, it is. More than 9,000 babies and children under the age of five participated in the trials, and there were no new, new safe hedge concerns. 
and more than 10 million kids ages 5 to 11 have already been vaccinated against COVID. And I think that's simply amazing. You're watching BTW 21 News. Again, we appreciate your company. It is now time for our crime report presented by our friends at Apex Bell Bonds. Jared Red, 43 of Bassett, Virginia, charged with distribution, schedule one or two drugs, and sell, distribute, manufacture, etc., invitation, schedule one or two drugs. Damian Arrington, 21 of Fieldale, Virginia, charged with failure to appear in court for misdemeanor offense. Failure to appear in court for felony offense and disobedience resistance of an officer of the court. Corey Harrison, 23, of Bassett, Virginia, charged with carry concealed weapon. Robert Harris, 29, of Ridgeway, Virginia, charged with probation violation felony. Harley Hodges, 27 of Bassett, Virginia, charged with intoxication in public. Chevis Martin, 62 of Martinsville, Virginia, charged with community-based program, violation misdemeanor. Darrell Martin, 51 of Fieldale, Virginia, charged with trespassing with an intent to damage property. John Rakes, charged with intoxication in public. Martinsville First Savings Bank has been serving Martinsville and Henry County since 1924. Feel free to stop by or call for more information on how our checking, savings, money market, and certificates of deposit can help you meet your financial goals. If you are tired of 800 numbers or online customer service, please contact us. We are local people making local decisions. Visit our office at 25 West Church Street in Uptown Martinsville or call 276-638-8771. You need a bondsman you can trust at your side. At Apex Bail Bonds in Martinsville, our agents are with you at every step, not just the day you bond out. Need affordable bail? You'll get the same low rates we offer in Danville and Reedsville. Apex Bail Bonds has the only bail bondsman around licensed on both sides of the Virginia Carolina line. Provides fast releases and affordable bail at the lowest rates allowed by law. Apex Bail Bonds, Martinsville, across from Checkered Pig, for the lowest rates allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for sticking along for Martins and Henry County's only daily newscast. Again, thank you for being with us. Let's turn it over now to obituaries by Bassett Funeral Service. Ryan C., 54, of Forest Hill, Richmond, Virginia, departed this life Thursday, January the 12th, 2023. 
A graveside service will be held Thursday, January the 19th at 12 noon at the Sea Family Cemetery in Martinsville. A public viewing was held Wednesday, January the 18th, 2023. Arrangements have been entrusted to Harrison Funeral Home. Joe H. Harrison, 87, of North Carolina, formerly of Martinsville, departed this life Monday, January the 16th, 2023. A graveside service will be held Friday, January the 20th at 12 noon at the Haley Cemetery, Brass Shop Road in Ridgeway. Arrangements are entrusted to Harrison Funeral Home. John Rogers Pete Griggs, 85, of Collinsville, passed away January the 12th, 2023. His services will be private. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Online condolences, WrightFuneralServices.net. Constant Cleo Martin Martin, 88, of Georgia, formerly of Martinsville, departed this life Thursday, January the 12th, 2023. The funeral will be Saturday, July, January the 21st at 12 noon at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation is one hour prior to that service. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24 hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing, 276 632 2580. Bassett Funeral Service was founded in 1996 by Daryl B. Martin and Paul T. Kennedy, Jr. We started as a small funeral home in Bassett, and in 2007, we went to one of the largest funeral homes in Martinsville and Henry County. We started with 3,200 square feet, and in 2007, went to over 20,000. Bassett Funeral Service is located at 3665 Ferrystone Park Highway in the town of Bassett. 276-629-1770. Carlisle is an independent college preparatory school located in Axton, Virginia. Founded in 1968, the school sets the standard for excellence in education. At Carlisle, we provide a challenging, nurturing, safe learning environment where students are encouraged to reach their true potential in the classroom, on the stage, or in athletics. You can afford a Carlisle education. Are you looking for a big southern breakfast or home-cooked meats and vegetables? Come join us at the Sirloin House, where we have a breakfast buffet seven days a week and a lunch buffet Sunday through Friday. We've been serving this community since 2001 at 207 South Van Buren Road, Eden, North Carolina. Enjoy the buffet for only $10.49. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina, and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carry-out or catering needs. How'd they take care of you today, sir? Excellent, man, excellent. They're always good down here. They'll take time to go through and help tell you stuff you don't know if you have questions. And believe me, I've asked them plenty of questions. How long have you been coming here? Two or three years. I've seen ads, I've heard people talk about them, clean lot, come in here, get out without too much fear of having flat tires. I've been on some places where it's like, oh man, it's going to cost me more than I'm going to make. West pays more, that's for sure. That's going to do it here for this Thursday edition of BTW 21 News. As always, we thank you very much for spending part of your day with us. Encourage you to stay updated on our website, btw21.com, and our social media pages as all of the stories that you saw here first broke there. And of course, uh, we will always keep you updated during a 5 p.m. newscast every single day. The weekend review will start 5 p.m. tomorrow.
Nelson Towing and Recovery has been serving Martinsville, Henry County, and the surrounding areas for 45 years. We have a talented, friendly staff with almost 100 years of combined experience. All of our drivers are certified and experienced in just about any situation. Our fleet of tow trucks contains a variety of modern vehicles that will meet every possible need. We also provide roadside assistance to help you out in case you have a flat tire or run out of fuel. Nelson Towing and Recovery, 888-257-8866. 